Hi guys, just Tim here from Body Shape Fitness Camp and welcome to the short video that I'm creating for you today on a subject that we get asked um, every now and then from our female members. I often ask us about um, their concerns on bulking up, yeah? And I'm going to call this out and tell you that it's absolute bullshit, okay? It is not going to happen for you. Okay, um, and they're not often, more often not worried about um, bulking up because at fitness camp we do um, strength based exercises um, which involve pr pushing and working against a resistance, okay, um, which is often associated with bulking up. And we get you to follow a nutrition that involves um, using higher amounts of protein than you're used to eating and probably eating food um, in layouts that's more commonly associated with how people um, eat when they are bodybuilders and those kinds of people, okay? So, here's what you need to understand, okay? To bulk up, to look like a... So, in the first instance, people like Arnold Schwarzenegger and um, Ronnie Coleman and all these crazy, bulky, huge bodybuilders, okay, have taken thousands of pounds worth of illegal steroids, okay, to put their body into a hormonal situation um, in which they can get that big, okay? It's not humanly or genetically possible to do it through training and nutrition, okay? They also train for several hours a day, completely obliterating their muscles with like different weights, like quite heavy free weights. Um, over a long period of time and doing training that wouldn't be humanly possible if they weren't on as many illegal substances as they are, okay? So you can rule that out completely. You are definitely not going to get into that shape, okay? When we talk about bulking um, in terms of how some guys that you might know that go to the gym that were probably a little bit skinnier at school and put on a little bit of muscle in their arms, okay? The training and eating regime in order to achieve that is extremely difficult and significant, okay? It involves eating six meals a day with 30 grams of protein at each meal, okay? Just to put on a pound of muscle every single week. We're talking about ratios like that. We're talking about people that eat 200 grams of protein per day. And in that, we're talking six large chicken breasts every single day, okay? Just to put on extra muscle tissue, and along with all the other food and the specific types of training that they're doing, which is more volumized than the type of training that we do at fitness camp uh, and localized. So they'll do like a lot of training for different muscle groups, okay, in order for them to gain muscle in those areas. It's also guys that you hear about doing this, okay. Guys have, males and females have a hormone called testosterone, okay. And in a man, testosterone, but men have 10 times more testosterone than females do, okay? So the hormone that's very relevant for helping males to get bigger is not very prevalent in females anyway, okay? So, so when we take that back to its basics, it is extremely hard for men to put on muscle. And if they're not consistent and diligent of eating that much protein and um, optimizing their life and training in the correct way, they don't actually grow anyway, okay? Which is why you often hear men wincing about, crying about the fact that they can't actually bulk up, okay? So for you to come along to my training sessions, okay, which don't have the significant volume, are far more full body based, okay? And don't um, provide the kind of differences in volume and resistance and variables that produce that kind of muscular development in your body, it is gonna be impossible for you to bulk up, okay? Secondly, if you're a female, and all these type of female bodybuilders that you see that have beards and whatnot, okay, they are taking steroids because they don't have enough testosterone to get in that shape naturally, okay, so unless you're taking steroids, you have no reason to worry, okay, and again, they're also eating that much protein, okay, now, we um, advise to eat three, sometimes four times per day, okay, and eat protein at every single meal, but that's not going to be enough to stimulate heavy growth and development of muscles, okay? So, for you to bulk up at fitness camp would be impossible, okay? Now, what I believe happens 
is that when you first start, obviously you're making probably quite a big change if you're used to not eating anywhere near that much protein, you had a carbohydrate based diet and you didn't do any resistance training, then you are going to make some small initial gains in muscle tissue, okay? Very small and they're going to stop very quickly and they're not going to go any further, okay? And that's just going to be literally you noticing that you feel a bit firmer, okay? I very much doubt we would make an increase into a circumference size for you, okay, on any area of your body. So you're just going to notice that you feel a bit tighter and firmer. They're about the extent of the small muscle gains that you are going to make from my program by eating in the correct way. And these muscle gains are actually very important because they speed up your metabolism, they upregulate um, how quickly you burn body fat, um, so you stay leaner for longer. And it's also been proven that the more muscle tissue you have, the longer you live for, and the healthier you are, and the healthier your bone structure is. So for older age, it's extremely important to maintain muscle tissue. Okay. What also happens is when you start to lose fat, okay. So what tends to happen is you do have um, you do, so say this is your arm muscle, okay, what tends to happen is you do have these biceps, okay, that go into your arm like that, draw an arm like that, okay, but they're often covered in a layer of fat, do, 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 okay, now, when we lose the fat, okay, and you can see the arm muscle more, or whichever muscle it is, probably not the arm that much, okay, and it looks more toned, yeah, so we've got some definition there, people think they've bulked up, Okay, but in actual fact, they haven't bulked up. Their muscles are just more defined, okay, because they've lost the layer of fat from on top of them. So you are leaner, okay. Fat is unhealthy, okay. Fat doesn't look great, okay. And this looks amazing, all right. It's very unlikely that you've bulked up. You definitely haven't bulked up. And the way that you can measure this, okay, the and to ensure that you haven't, is to take your circumference measurements, okay? Because again, you look in the mirror, you look more defined, you think you're bulked up, when in actual fact you look amazing, okay? And you just need to take your measurements and you will see that you haven't actually grown, all right? So bulking and fitness camp, unfortunately, is not going to happen. If you're on this program to bulk up, then I would suggest that you find another program because it's not going to happen for you, all right? I look forward to speaking to you soon. Cheers. Bye-bye.